Hi everyone, it's Mary, your host on Data Monarch channel. In today's tutorial, we'll be learning how to make and automate data entry form in Excel like this. Having values, drop down, and even pops up, depending on your answer. And once you click the submit button, all your responses will be automated in an Excel sheet like this. The steps involved in making this data entry form includes formatting the form sheet, creating the result sheet, automating the form, and also protecting the sheet in order to avoid people or any other person interfering with you. Your form. So yeah, I already have some values that I wrote down. I want to create a data entry form about unique group of schools. So this is the heading. Now we'll be doing the formatting of this form. First thing we have to do is to format this group of schools. And the first thing I'll be doing is to merge and centralize it. Just you highlight the, the rows of the unique group of schools. And you come here under your alignment, you merge and centralize. So the next thing I want to do is I want to change my font to Times New Roman. Then here, as you can see here, I want to increase because I want the name of the school to be very, very obvious. So you increase it till you are very good with it. So I'm good with it as it is right now. As you can see, it is much more visible to see from afar that this is the name of the school. So the next thing I want to format the color of this heading here. So you highlight this heading. So you come here under this font, you will see few color. So I want to change the background color of my work. So let's change it to this. You can say I can see the name of the school. So you change the font color here white you want to bolden it and yes it's very much visible as it is so it depends on you you can increase it much more than this so the next thing i want to do you can see most of my work are not it's not looking well organized so you increase the width of every of your work you increase the width so it can show very well i want my form to leak to look as neat as possible so the next thing is we want to format the input cells we want it to be obvious that this is where you impute the details of the student so you click on this cell here and you come the same way you did for the header like now let's choose a column a not very obvious column like this then you want to also add border lines you come here under the front you will see something like this this border line so i want it to be outside borders you click on it that i've added the border to this cell i don't want to start start doing the same for every of the input so the best thing you can do is just to copy and paste it so you copy using your ctrl c and then you highlight the columns you want to paste it in paste it as you can create drop downs for some of our some of our data that have like um, that have specific inputs here under the data tools ribbon you click on this drop down and you see your data validation so under the allow you click on the list then you list out the values you want to be in your drop down that's male and female then you press your ok so as you can see this helps and you just have to click also i want to limit the class admitted into since it's a secondary school so you can work around with this it depends on which type of form you want to create it is not limited at all you can just like be so dynamic with your use of data entry forms so i have my gss1 comma a short to always separate your work with a comma so i want the year to be filled as a yes or no so be doing data validation for it since hostel also have a yes or no response you can just copy and paste it in the hostel tab you do the same for medical conditions yes or no so you can see it here if it's a yes the school has a policy to always carry out tests on students that are known to have any medical condition so i will want a pop up that will show register at linux below the any medical condition input cell you click your equal to so we'll be using the if function open brackets if this cell equals yes ensure to use your apostrophe because we are dealing with a string comma i want it to show that register at the clinic and if not if it is a no i want it to show an empty space then you click your enter so as you can see here but i want to format this to look much more like a pop-up so you click on it and you go back to your own menu you edit the cell i want to reduce the font i want to reduce it you can easily size it also i want to change the color to red you can see that is well done so let's say a no is clicked it won't show you anything also i want to do the same for hostel that's the same way we did here you press your equal to if open brackets this cell equals to a yes enter so let me click a yes 
you can see you do the same formatting you reduce the content finally our form is almost ready but if you can notice we have one thing that is missing which is the submit button i'll be creating that later in this tutorial so now that we've edited this form to our test then before we move on i want us to remove this grid line so that you know our form will pop up as it should so what you do here is that you go to your view tab then you remove the grid lines you can see but this still doesn't make any sense right we're doing right now is that we'll be adding a borderline to our form this is okay you go back to your own menu then you can see now after you've removed the grid lines the next thing you might want to do is also to remove the formula bar the headings and also remove the ribbon as you collapse it and also if you want to show them all back you click on one of the tabs and just the same way you collapsed it you open it back and i still need my i still need my edits so as to be able to format the surrounding cells if you don't have this developer tab in your excel we need to impute it now to add it to your tab menu you can click on this this white interface you right click on it you see customize the ribbon you click on it then under here yeah, under main tabs you can see developer so if it is not clicked if it is so if it is unclicked do also click it and press your okay so you will see it right here on your tab so we want to change the color of the surrounding cells click on highlight it change the color you go back to your home tab and change the few color to this to any color of your choice you highlight it change it to any color of your choice so yeah instead of you dragging it all the way you can just press your ctrl shift and your right right side arrow change the color you also come back here to your down so you press your ctrl shift down you change the color so as you can see the color of the surrounding cell is changed already and our form is already looking very unique the next thing to do is to rename your sheet this will be the form and also and also format this new sheet for our responses you right click and you rename it as responses once that is done you come back to your form sheet below the created form we are going to list out the headers and link them to their respective cells so this is how you do that you can copy and paste or you can write it manually so once this is done to link the headers with the respective cells just click on your equal to and you click on the cell response Every of the details that has been imputed here in the form are shown here. So I'll show you why we need to do this. So right now you will create a new sheet named Rose. You will learn why you need to create this sheet later on in the video. So moving on to automate, where everything is going to come alive through automation, we are going to be using macros which which are essentially a pre-recorded number of steps in excel we are going to tell excel to memorize this sequence and all we just need to do is a click on button and it will keep automating the inputs for us don't worry this is a no code to work so it's just as smooth and as easy as possible be the headers that are beneath and come here to your responses you click on the paste special then you paste it as values and you transpose it press your ok quite clumsy to move that you come here to your format and you see octo fit column width so right there we want to edit this header to look much more better so you can change the font color you can bolden it so it will look as the header we want it to be to automate using macros the first thing to do is that you have to fill out the forms first your developers tab you can see record macro you click on it name it as let's say automate of okay, the values that have been answered there just as you can see automatically this has been you know filled up so you copy this then you come to your row sheet and then you paste you paste it special as values and then transpose okay so once this is done you copy it and then you come to your responses you do not paste it directly you come back to your home menu and then under your insert you see insert copied cells shift cells down we are clicking on this so that for every student details that is imputed it will keep pushing it down and not delete the previous details press your ok so you go back to your form and you delete all of the entries 
click on the first name go back to your developers tab and stop the recording awesome now we've recorded this sequence now we need to tell excel how to run it to create the button there are two ways you can do this you can come here under your developers tab and click on the insert you will see the button there but so as to be able to format your button to the same color as your header you can just come here to your insert illustrations you should click on it and then you click on these rectangle rounded corners depending on how you want to format your button then you can come here as large as you want it to be or as small as you want it to be then you can see you want to change the fill color to the same as your heading that's fine then enter your submit you want to bolden this so if you are done this using the automatic macro if you are done this using the developers button it won't give you the chance to be able to format the color as you want so you can just change the text color here as white then bolding it you can bolden it using your control b as you can see then you can increase the size because you want it to be obvious also centralize it and put it at the center using the middle align so to link our submit to the sequence we just created you right click on it and you see assign macro there you remember the name of the macro we recorded was automate then you press your ok so you can see why you click on this submit button it will automate the work immediately just to click on it so let's check it out i don't know what's your name but let me put my name mary this is field just click your ok so let's go check our responses as it can use it in for me so it keeps pushing it down and down and this makes a lot of sense we don't want our anything showing under it so what you can just do is that you can change the text color to the same as the color of the surrounding cells yeah amazing now we are done with creating our form and automating it the next thing i want us to do right now is to protect the sheet and also to save it in a particular format to protect this sheet you click on all the input cells that's your control and you, you hold down your control and you press every of the input cells and once that is done you come here on that cells to format and you click lock cell so to protect this sheet your review and you can see protect sheet you put your password anyone you can remember okay go fill up some you see even for my input values i still cannot access any of them so what you will do is just that you press your you unprotect your sheet press your password and then you click on control one you can see locked so the cells are locked you unlock it and press your ok so you come back here to protect sheet and you input your password and sure to use a password you can always remember and as you can see right now i can format and do everything i want but i won't be able to do it in the cells outside next one we'll be doing right now is to save our excel workbook in a special format so that when next we want to open up the sheet it will just do the automation we desire so how to do that is come back to your file tab then you see save us you go under your you go under where you want to save it and instead of saving it as excel workbook you save it as excel macro enable workbook you click on it and you press, and you press save yes so this has saved it for i'm so glad you watched the end of this video and i know so well that you've learned a lot please do also click on the like button below ask your questions in the comment section below let me know which type of data entry form you will be creating and also you can ask questions if you encountered any problem while practicing yours remember like i always say work smarter and not harder see you next time bye